All right, Doris. Very good, thank you. Good, lovely. How are you? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, that's nice Unless to Unless you know. tell me different, of course, Doris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Now, when did you first know about your gift? Well, I thought everybody was the same. So, obviously, I was born with it. But uh, it first developed, really, when uh, I was about 14 or 15, seriously. And then I began to work in a purely social way, never professional. And, of course, healing was most important to me because I am a healer, too. I see. So that was the start of it, really. Yes. Yeah. Same route everybody goes, amateur, oh, yes. semi-professional. And... and get turned over, of course. Oh, you oh, get turned yeah. over? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> was, uh, I wouldn't mind being turned over. <laughs> Or maybe I'll oh, that well, you know what happens when people want to exploit you yeah. and tell you they're going to do so much good for you. People think you make a lot of money, you know. Yeah. I'd like to remember the years when I worked for many, many years without any fee at all. But yeah. it was very good for me yeah. because I had a husband who kept me. So yeah. that was the difference. Yeah, and he's, he's with us tonight, is he? Oh, yes, he is somewhere in the yeah, audience. Yeah, that just came to me. I just yeah. thought... <laughs> Doris's husband's here. So you've got the same feeling. Well, I don't know if I've got the same feeling. I, I mean, how does anybody know that if, uh, if they've got the gift uh, that, that you have of being able well, to? Well, uh, the reason that I started doing public theatres was to interest the younger generation because half of my audience that come are under 40 and there's 2,000 people in the theatre. And I'm very, very pleased because it interests them. You see, I began in a very hard world, when I was looked upon as peculiar. But many, many people come up to me who are 20. They've got my gift and they don't know where to go to be trained. Right. And that's our trouble. We haven't got places to go to be but trained. But you can't really train a medium, can you? Oh, or? yes, you can. Yeah. Now, you might become a pianist, but you might never be a concert pianist. Oh, I see. But you yeah, can Trevor play knows what that feeling's like, you yeah. know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's up to book three now. <laughs> People are psychic. Are they? Oh, yes. And they don't realise I'm it. not special, but I worked at my gift and developed it. Yeah. And, and that's... also the delivery of it as well. Oh, well, we? that comes with experience. Yes. Yeah. But I do come from a family of theatrical people, so that probably helped me a little bit. So who, who have you worked with over the years? You know, who have you consulted? Well, or... I was Peter Sellers' psychic till he passed the spirit world, Frankie Howard, uh, Michael Benteen. Uh, many people fly from all over the world to me. I try to condense my life now because, after all, I should be 76 in February mm. and I like to not do quite so much. Now, can I, you know, just back to what you actually do, I mean, uh, we have an audience here tonight and, and it, it could, would, do, does it, would you see something in somebody? Yes, would I it, can, would but I'd I... like to, first of all, to say something to you oh. because <laughs> when I came through to you today, um, and I didn't want to tell you, but you stopped me. So I've got to tell you this. I had a gentleman who built at the back of you. Now, he wasn't family, but I should think he was... I felt an old gentleman. When I say he was old, well, I'm 75 or 6, and I don't believe I'm old, so it's a difficult thing to say. Yeah. And he said to me, uh, he called you son or boy. And I felt that you would, might have, he worked for you at one time because I felt that you had either helped him or he'd worked for you because he said to me, I'm so proud of what the boy has done. He didn't say Michael, he said boy. Now you either called him Pa or Pop because that's what I felt. And he said to me, will you tell him I'm still one of the firm? He didn't say anything else. I'm still one of the firm, he said, and I want my dues. I'm so grateful for what he did for us. Can you understand this? Well, the only, the only one that... Uh, uh, I, I've... Oh, God, you've thrown me a bit now. Um, That's all right. But, uh, no, no. <laughs> but the main thing is, he's been with me all the afternoon, the and he's so determined that I would give it to you. He wouldn't, wouldn't let me escape. He said, I'm very... He was a very determined man. He didn't take my bike, did he? <laughs> him. No, the only, seriously, the only one I, I can think of uh, that I felt like that about is uh, the, only, the only man that ever did anything like that to me. I mean, my dad 
left home when I was 11. So that, that was another story. It wasn't him. Uh, no, it wasn't your father, but I felt you would have either called him Pa or Pop, and he would have referred to you as boy or son. Well, but if ever I did, you know, as you come through the, uh, the business, uh, I've been struggling away for years uh, to get, even to get this far, whatever that's supposed to be, this far. Yes. But, I mean, um, <laughs> uh, would, would be uh, Eddie, which was... Uh, uh, my father-in-law, it's considered one I treat as a, well, a he, dad. Well, uh, he didn't say Eddie. He might have said Edward, but he didn't say Eddie. Hmm. Did you call him Pa or Pop? Uh, because that's what I felt. He wasn't your father. But he's so proud of what you've achieved. But he said, I'm still one of the firm and I want my dues. Do you it, understand? What, I don't know what he wants. No, I think he wants me just to keep an eye on the business and not spend so much bleeding money. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> because he was, he, was, he was very strict. He was very strict. Very, with, very with, strict with way, money. He wasn't strict with me, but he was very strict. He was a wonderful man. Uh, but the way he ran the business, he set it up and he made me take wages and not spend he it He was all. a very caring man, I think. A very lovely well, he's only, man. He, only, he taught me to only be interested in the career and not worry about money so much. Elio, let's go back to you. That's what yeah. we're talking about. You're yeah. very kind of you. And, uh, I, I, uh, it's, <laughs> it's thrown me a bit, to be kind. Well, it's normal to me, you see, because, you know, it's like breathing to me. It's my life. Yeah. But people say to my husband, how do you live with her? <laughs> well, I live a normal life. The way you're holding my hand, look like he's going to go. <laughs> and my children accept me. There's no problem. Yeah, and you're happy. Oh, very happy. Yeah. And I'm not afraid to die. No. When it's my time, I should go. But I've got a lot of work to do yet. All right. Well, we, we thank you very much indeed. And uh, thanks for letting me have a, a get, get back in contact with Eddie. I miss him dreadfully. Um, well, but, uh, he's one of the firm. Now, don't miss him because he's one of the firm. Yeah, well, uh, he can send the VAT receipts back That's in. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my next guest. Good evening, Pest. What have Ben Elton and the Eurythmics got in common? Plenty of that, eh? Baby, you're just overblown. Nottingham Forest 3, Charlton Athletic, nil. <laughs> Oxford Fatty Maxwell United 2. Don't watch football, peeps. No, it's not match of the day. It's Friday night almost live tonight, 10.15 on 4. Well, next tonight, we're showing Godley and Cream's first documentary for television. The assassination of an American president in Dallas 25 years ago produced shockwaves which still reverberate around the world. Who stood to gain from Kennedy's death? And why is the truth about what really happened still emerging? Dispatches tries to answer these key questions in a few minutes. What is this thing called, love? Oh, H.P. Fruity. <laughs> oh. It gives everything a tang. When the day starts a little too soon And you feel you can sleep till noon He knows what it'll take to get you away Maxwell House. Get the taste, get the max. Epson. Computers worldwide. The art of stir-fry from Knorr. Now you can transform a bit of chicken and some veg into Chicken 5 Spice for four. From a few prawns and a pepper, you can make a feast fit for an emperor. And turn everyday ingredients into authentic Chinese cuisine. The art is yours with new stir-fry recipe sources.
from Knorr. The worlds of Foster and Alan, their first solo double album with 30 songs of love and tenderness from Stylus. When you tumble dry, are you using the right fabric softener? I use a liquid softener in the washing machine. I use bounce in the dryer. <laughs> My things are soft. Mm. Fine art too. My liquid, she reduces static cling. 